So Warren, what's kind of your reaction to some of what David's sharing? Well, Michael, let me respond to that uh, with from me, and then I'll end up with a question to David. Um, I, overall, I'm really encouraged by how many books and writing and speaking there is out there on the issue of caring for the senior leader, for soul care, for all the the awareness that's being raised and and research yes. being done on, okay, so how are we actually doing in caring for the leader where we have some numbers and some, some quantities? Some things surprised me, like uh, ECFA just did the nation's largest survey of church planners. And, and one of the questions I asked was about their mental health. How was it uh, before you launched, uh, then during the pandemic, and then today? And to my surprise, they all said, rated it about the same on, on median average. And uh, this was very encouraging. And yet there are some disparities, uh, one of which being the difference between the leader and the group most likely to care for the leader that would be the board. So in one survey, we asked the board, how you doing on soul care for your leader? And they said, great. And then we ask that same question to the same leader in that same organization or church. So how's the board doing on soul care for you? And the answer is not so well. The disparity of how we need to, to find actual help uh, beyond raising the awareness. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more finance, governance, and fundraising news and insights for your church or ministry.